Hey everybody, Joe Casaboni here, and recently I was given access to the product section in ConvertKit. I'm really excited to try this out. I haven't used it at all, so this is going to be a first walk through it for me. Just a couple of reminders that this is still in beta, so there might be some bugs. That's part of the beta testing program, but the things I'm demoing today may not be the same as when the product actually comes out. But I still want to showcase this new functionality because I think it's pretty huge. Uh, it says right on the screen here that ConvertKit lets you create, manage, and sell digital products online. This is a, a big step forward in what ConvertKit has to offer because it means you don't have to set up an e-commerce site in order to sell a digital product. You don't need to sign up for a Gumroad account. And further, you can integrate all of ConvertKit's great features into the product selling process. So let's get started. Right here, there is a products tab. If you see it, you have access to the beta. I will leave a link in the description for this video to uh, how you can ask, ask for access to the beta so that if you haven't yet, you can go ahead and do that now. But I'm going to click on create a product. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is give it a name. I'm going to be selling my webinar replays here. So I do the webinars for free, but the replays cost money. Then the pricing method, you can do standard where customers pay a one-time fee or a subscription is coming soon, which is super awesome because subscriptions are hard. And I have found running a subscription through WooCommerce and WordPress that Getting the subscription stuff to kind of sync with ConvertKit is a little bit tricky. So making that easier would be amazing. Uh, then we set the price. I'm selling right now four replays. If we do $5 each, that would be $20. i will just sell them for $19, which is really good value. $19 bucks for four hours of content. Then I'll click next. And then we upload a file. So you can see the max upload size is 500 megabytes. This is pretty much designed to sell things like ebooks and smaller files and not like one or two gigabyte uh, hour long 4k videos. So what I did was I created a zip called replays. It has a little welcome video from me and then instructions on how to actually download the webinar video files. So that uploaded pretty quickly. I'll click next. And then I can choose a custom domain. So I've got a few attached here. And uh, for the time being, I'll just make it over at tools.casabona.org slash replays. Uh, that way people can go to slash product slash replays. So tools.casabona.org slash products slash replays. I'll create the product. And then I can design the page. So... This looks really good. I think I would probably want to add a bunch of text, but for now, I will just say, download the replay of my four most popular webinars. All right, so once I do that, I'm ready to add an image here. And, you know, as I'm building out the actual product page here, I would add a bunch more content with descriptions on each of these webinars and things like that. But I'm also going to add a call to action to each webinar on how to get the replay. So hopefully people will hit that landing page and then go here to download the replay. So we can upload an image here. I just made something quick and dirty for this page. So I'll choose that. Great, that looks not bad actually. Uh, so with this page designed, I'll change this to download now. I'll keep the button the same color. And so we will save that. Then we can go through the checkout process. So we're asking for email. We're getting payment. That looks good. Confirmation. Your file has been emailed. Perfect. And then the receipt. So we can customize this, add a personal message. I would strongly recommend doing that. Saying something like, hey, thanks so much. You're going to get information. Maybe I even want to put the instructions here on how to download the files since they haven't uh, actually been emailed that they're going to need to, to download it from a link. 
But that's all things that I could figure out later. They were simply walking through the process here. I'll save that. I'll click publish. And now I have a link. I can also embed this on a page, which is cool. So it's just a buy my product uh, button that will take them to the page. If we go out to the browser here, look at that. A nice looking product page. If I click download now, I'll be brought to the checkout page. Really simple uh, and uh, very clear on how to get up and running with this. So now that this is created, again, I'll save this. I suspect I can go to my automations and I'll create automation. I'll go to purchase the integration. I think this is called convert kit commerce search for a product webinar replays. Perfect. So I can create an automation based on this event where I tag users or add them to a sequence. Maybe in this case, I want to add them to a sequence where each day they get an email about one of the webinars. And since this is a pretty low price, I could maybe treat this as what's called a tripwire, right? Where I show them immense value. I give them takeaways. And then I say, hey, if you like this, there's lots more content in my membership and I move them there. So that's a little bit of marketing advice from somebody who's not a marketing guy, but I'm just thinking out loud here. If I go back to products, I can see the one product I created. I can create more. And then I need to set up payouts. So if I click set up payouts, I am technically a company here. I'll do this through my LLC. Uh, and then I'll put a bunch of personal information in here. And this is all powered by Stripe. So ConvertKit has created an account with Stripe. That's how the payments are going to be processed. And then they'll pay out to me based on the information I put here. But that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you have any questions about ConvertKit Commerce, leave them in the comments below. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more great content.